OK, well, let's go on to the MA rumours and movers. We stay with the uh, transatlantic M&A, and uh, it's not new news, but it is hopefully the, the concluding chapter of a story that, uh, uh, that's been running for quite some time. FedEx Corporation of the US, which is FDX, uh, will apparently formally launch its offer for uh, the Dutch rival TNT Express, and that's going to be launched on Monday. Um, the terms of the deal aren't really going to change. They're going to offer around $4.8 billion uh, dollars or equivalent for the company. Um, as I say, it's not new news. TNT, which is ticker TNTE in Amsterdam, trading around seven euros fifty-three, down a smidge, uh, about 0.7 percent. Um, the deal has taken ages to uh, to come to this point. It's been held up by a series of, uh, of EU competition or completion issues, but these are thought to have been resolved. And the uh, the TNT board has uh, recommended the offer, which it turns out is all cash and are worth about so eight euros. So there's maybe a small element of premium in there. Um, and interestingly, the unions, uh, which obviously have a, you know, a role in, in much of uh, European industry, are on board with the deal too. So that's good news. Um, it's a had a checkered history, though, uh, TNT. Um, it almost um, came to... Uh, merge with UPS, obviously FedEx's big rivals back in 2012. Um, at that point, uh, UPS needed to uh, satisfy competition authorities. They were going to get FedEx, funnily enough, to buy some assets they were going to sell. But in the end, it all came, became too complicated for UPS. Uh, they abandoned the talks and uh, TNT shares plunged. Um, one point I would just make, there is quite a high hurdle for this deal to go through. Um, the offer requires 95% of acceptances from uh, TNT shareholders. I say it's a high hurdle, but apparently one which FedEx expects to be able to achieve. So.